A plan to build a new bridge over the intercoastal waterway in Gulf Shores is on hold, and a new plan that would expand the existing toll bridge in Orange Beach is now front and center. All of this in an effort to find the best way to move traffic on and off Pleasure Island, or is it? WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Orange Beach, and Debbie, the toll bridge behind you is very busy, and it could get a whole lot busier if this new plan is approved. Absolutely, it, you know, and this could be good news for locals and for tourists, but it does put on hold the plan that would have provided another way on and off the island. Thousands of motorists pass through these toll booths every year to get to Alabama's beaches, and every year they get stuck in traffic. Well, we've been working with the bridge company, City of Orange Beach has, for some time now, trying to come up with a solution to the bottleneck that is now the bridge. That solution may be expanding the toll bridge. Two lanes north, two lanes south, more than doubling the number of toll booths to 11, having a reduced toll for Baldwin County residents, and introducing a mechanism to control the amount of tolls charged to everyone else that uses the bridge. Orange Beach Mayor Tony Kennan believes it's the best option. The bridge company will build a new bridge at their expense. They will pay for the expansion of the toll booths, the fly-throughs, and the electronic at their expense. It won't cost the Alabama taxpayer a dime. The new plan is put on hold a proposed new bridge in Gulf Shores connecting Foley Beach Express to Canal Road. That project was set to go to bid today. Gulf Shores Mayor Robert Kraft called the delay disappointing. He released a statement this afternoon to News 5 and says 50,000 cars cross the bridge in Gulf Shores every day compared to only 11,000 that take the toll bridge. He continued, not because the toll bridge can't handle more vehicles or Highway 59 is a quicker route. This is only because drivers are clearly choosing to use a free public route over paying a private toll. The goal of both plans, to keep traffic moving. The bridge toward Gulf Shores is not going to be the most efficient way to move traffic. However, if we can't work with the bridge company, that will be our only choice. Now, the city of Orange Beach does get 30 cents for every vehicle that goes over that bridge. That's about $1.4 million a year. Although Mayor Kennan says that's not the incentive, it's to keep traffic moving. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Orange Beach, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.